1 Corinthians 1 in the King James Version. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God, Sothenus, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Christ, by Jesus Christ. That in everything you are enriched by him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that you come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful by whom you were called unto the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it have been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, I am of Apollos, I am of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptised in the name of Paul? I thank that I baptised none of you but Cephas and Gaius, lest any should say that I baptised in mine own name. And I baptised also the household of Stephanus, beside I know not whether I baptised any other. For Christ sent me not to baptise, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the Lord of Christ should be made of none effect. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Have not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? After that, in the wisdom of the world, the God by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to <laughs> save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks uh, seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto Greeks, unto Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you, seeing your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord.